So last season ended, I had this patient that I brought to Dr. Charles, who was in the waiting room, who was making a lot of ruckus. He insisted on seeing Dr. Charles. And turns out that at the end of the episode, he's so frustrated with the care that Dr. Ch Charles gave him that he takes out a gun and just shoots him. So at the end of the episode, you're not sure, is he dead or is he alive? Well, we will start with April and Ethan. I think we should commit to giving them a nickname. Sex Choi could be interesting. The hashtag with that, Sex Choi. Is it gonna happen? So we ended the season thinking that that was uh, quite the kiss. I vote for them. So we start the season wondering if they're gonna develop a relationship, um, how are they going to deal with a relationship if they do have one and working together and in two opposed position? So you, I think it's one of those big questions in hospitals, you know, do doctors date nurses? Are nurses considered equals as they date doctors? But sex joy it is. I think I'm one of those people that was long awaiting for them to commit. So I'm really hoping that right now we get at least a good year of them. Just try it out. Somebody try out this relationship and commit. Forgive whatever happened, how it happened, and let's try a relationship between Manning and Halstead. And plus, you know, they're really cute together, aren't they? They're really, really cute together. Maggie is... is I actually believe that Maggie is a very big romantic at heart and can she have a relationship? Um, she's so committed to her work. Should she have a relationship? I think this is a big question this season. So I don't want to say more than that. I just want to say Maggie relationship. <gasps> the administration side of the hospital is as important as the medical side because without the administration, you can't give the medical side. If you can't afford the great doctors, you can't have the great care, right? So I think what Maggie is learning is how to keep cost at a lower place so we can have the best physicians, the best doctors possible. And there's a balance here that must be maintained. We need the help of insurance companies to provide the cost for the patients that are coming in. We need people who have insurance to get care for, but we also need to care for the people who don't have insurance. So how do you create a bridge for all types of people? You know, so you have to find a way of, of bringing the EMTs into the conversation with the nurses. The nurses have to have the conversation with the doctors. The doctors have to have the conversation with the administration. And Maggie sits in that whole mix as someone that's a bit of above the, above the line in administration. So I think Chicago Med, really is current in regards to those questions in society. One of the great things about Dick Wolf is his ability to grab current issues and to bring it to the forefront and also provides for society, I mean the viewer, the viewer that is watching, the question that sometimes you're having a hard time to ask because so much is going on about healthcare, you know, which provider should you have? You know, what are my rights with it? A lot of different issues surrounding healthcare. And one thing that people can expect this year is issues like healthcare. We're going to touch multiple faces to it. So if healthcare has eight faces, we try to touch at least three quarters of it so people know how to approach the issues for themselves. I think um, Wolf Films has a great approach to helping society, entertaining society, and providing quality performances. So it's like a three-dimensional atmosphere. What is amazing about the relationship with all these actors, you're talking about at least 10 actors in each show. That's 30 people, right? 30 people, one big family. When we get together, it's kind of like Thanksgiving every single time. Even when you show up on each other's shows, what it, the experience is like having Thanksgiving. Um, one, being part of a franchise that, that has so much uh, uh, depth, so much uh, quality work, and then such longevity. 
and because of the you know the legacy that's in Dick and the, the incredible writing. But then you work with people that you actually really want to get to know. And there's not one actor that I have met that I've not developed a great relationship with. Some I had worked in other projects with, Eamon Walker and, and other people like that. But you get on shows with them, you know, I cross over to Fire, they'll come to me on Med or we'll, we'll travel to PD. And we're actually, it's almost like he, he read, we auditioned for him, but then he read our social resume and say, this would be a great family. You know, it's like one big family structure that's brought together and come together and form the Chicago series. Season three, I believe people are going to meet the soul behind all the medical professionals that make Chicago Med.